I'd like to introduce you to Animoto at Animoto.com. This is a great little short video creator that students can use to show their understanding. And it combines pictures and video and music to create a little video. I do want to show you before I get into my actual account, I want to show you as a teacher, you'll want to sign up for Animoto.com slash education slash classroom and hit apply now. You'll apply for an account and what that does is as a teacher it gives you a lot more flexibility. It gives you a longer video, um, you can add more videos and use more space. It's just a much better account for teachers. For students they'll be creating the free account when they sign up. Alright so uh, for students I want to come to do this from a student perspective. The free account is a 30 second long video which is great for concise little uh, videos. When they sign in with their, um, into their Animoto account, this will be the dashboard. And to get started with the first video, all you got to do is click on Create. That brings up the editing window, um, which the first step is to create a, a choose a theme. So there's a lot of good free themes here to choose from. When students are picking their theme, make sure that they're really thinking about how that affects their video. Um, make sure that the theme aligns with the theme of their video. So there's lots of different uh, choices here. If you put your mouse over them, it will give you a short preview of what it will look like. I'm going to click on and do, um, I'm just going to click on air. It'll start and automatically give you a preview of what that will look like. So here's text in the short video. You add pictures within the video. You see it's already got music added into it, which you can change. If that's the one I want, I want to click on make a 30 second video for free. This gets you into the editing window, stage two, which is where you can add pictures and short videos if you have them, add text and change the music. All right, here's what you do. Okay, so I'm going to add a couple pictures here. Students can bring things in from other accounts. But for, and you can use the image libraries that are in Animoto, which are actually pretty good. I'm just going to grab a couple pictures of my own. Click on Upload Pictures. And I'm just going to grab a couple uh, pictures here. Oh, well, let's see here. I'll bring in the Aberdeen Tigers, the Apple logo, and the Brain, and the Cameron Scotts. All right, once your students uh, load their pictures in here, uh, they'll come right here in the editing window. You can, in this window, move anything that you want. So if you want to change the order, it's real simple. Each of these you can also add a caption to, so this is a great idea. So whenever students are creating their videos, put little text captions about what it is describing the picture. You can also add a highlight. Now the highlight on a picture will kind of make it a focal point of the video. So it automatically makes it a focal point of the video. So don't add too many highlights um, because then the video will run long. All right, I can add short videos here if I have any, but I'm gonna move on and click on add text. This is where you can add um, text blocks within the video. It's a great spot to add titles. And this of course would be a great spot for kids to put their name. And since that was my title slide, I'm going to drag it to the front. You can also see that the video length is up here as well. So I'm getting close to my 30 seconds. All right, just to make sure you see, um, you can also, on the left-hand side, uh, create spotlights right in here. Anything that's in yellow is a spotlighted item. You can rotate images. You can duplicate images, and you can also delete images right in here as well. All right, so now that I've got my video, I just want to hit preview. And I, actually, one more thing. Before I hit preview, I'm going to click on the music. Music is a big part of these, and what's great about Animoto is it's got really good music to go along with it. So there's recommended songs. You can upload your own songs. Um, you can do it by genre. I'm going to go to full music library just so you can see all the different types of music. So when students are choosing music, of course, you want it to definitely align with the theme of the video. So if it's a video about the Holocaust, you know, we don't want any upbeat music um, and vice versa, depending on the theme. 
uh, students can preview the songs. So if I hit play, you probably can't hear that one. It was a very soft one. Come over here. Now, if it's a song that you think is a good one for your video, Sneaky Freaky, I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's cool. Click on Add Song, and that'll change the song on the video. All right, I'm going to go ahead and preview my video. And as it generates a preview, you want students to put their titles here. They can leave the date here if they would like to. And they can add a short description here. And that's kind of effective um, if you want to describe what you got. All right, so my preview is ready. So here's my title slide. You can hear my sneaky music. Here is my emphasis with my caption. And there it is. All right, so I can, if I see something that's wrong, you can go back and continue editing and you can fix it. Or if I'm happy with my video, I can hit produce. Now what that does is it makes that video and it publishes it to the internet. So, uh, that is uh, how you create the video and now how to share it out. Um, you can share it directly via e by, by email. Students can do that here. If they click on more, that's where they can get the link that they can then share out also. So this is a live link that can be played from anyone that has that link. If you are into embedding and you know how to embed onto websites and blogs, you can do that right in here. Customize it as well. And when people get that link, this is exactly what the page that they will um, come to on this. Uh, again, here's the settings, playback quality. And the other thing that I want to make sure that you see is you can export these as well. So you can export it out to YouTube, uh, Vimeo, etc., etc. All right, uh, so that is how to create short videos in Animoto. They're really good for uh, getting kids engaged with uh, doing a con concise video that demonstrates their understanding. Have fun with Animoto.